Got another old camcorder given to me. This one's a CCD TR71 Sony in remarkably good condition, but it does not work. And uh, the guy that gave it to me, he used it to transfer all of his uh, films or videos over to digital. Didn't need it anymore. Said I could have it. So we're going to try and get this one fixed up so I can find it a new home for someone else that needs to transfer their tapes to digital. Today I received probably one of the best condition CCD TR-71s I've seen. So I had somebody just ask me, they said, hey, I got an old camera, I don't need it, it doesn't work properly. If you want, you can have it, you can sell it, do whatever you want. I said, sure. So this is mine. Unfortunately, I didn't get the power supply for them. They handed me a bag, gave me the whole bag, right? With batteries and everything in it. A couple batteries in the hand strap. But um, even the instruction manual, that. Right, it's got the instruction manual. But um, when I looked in the front pocket here, there's no, there's no adapter in it. I've got one here. The one I've got has actually got the uh, contacts on it. I think it was something like a 401 or something. It's got the contacts for the video outputs. If I can find an adapter, I'll sell it. If I fix it, I'll sell it with the adapter. Or if I can get a hold of the guy that uh, gave it to me. Um, he, he's a viewer of my channel here, so if you're watching, you know who you are. If you're watching, if you find that adapter, uh, especially if you get this thing going, it would be great. But um, otherwise, I'll just sell it as it is. I'm sure somebody might have an adapter anyway. A lot of people had Sony cameras and their cameras are shot and they're looking for a camera to uh, recover their tapes. Now, I, I, I'm told it does not work. We'll, we'll put a tape into it. We'll hook it up and we'll hook it up to the monitor and we'll put a tape into it and we'll see. But I, I'm told it doesn't work. So, but condition-wise, um, this is about as good a condition I've, as I've ever seen one from this era. Like it, it has no marks on it. It doesn't have the, the rubberized uh, the top here. It hasn't all deteriorated like a lot of them went bad. Um, this one is in really good shape. Uh, power on. And is there power? I don't see any power. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on. I don't see any power at all. Is it making a connection here? Oh, I see. I see that. So we have a power supply problem on this one. You can almost smell the capacitors leaking. Literally, I think we're going to have exploding the capacitors in this one. Let's uh, pull the second one apart and see whether uh, I stand any chance at all of fixing it. It'd be a nice one to uh, to fix. As pretty much every camcorder I've fixed, uh, I've sold. I get people asking me for cameras. On a regular basis looking for camcorders that'll play back tapes and right now I don't have any other than the well actually I shouldn't have said I think I got an old CCD um, TR 110 that's really old it probably still works because that would have been before the era of the uh, the surface mounted uh, crap capacitors. So we'll take out all the arrow mark screws. Incidentally, I'm using my my AX53. I've got a different brand of memory card because my my 53 was shutting down on me. So the last video I did I was uh, that, that was the DAT machine. Uh, I was so frustrated with it shutting down constantly, I went and got my old 
camera and, and put it back in service. Um, I want to I, I want to see whether the problem is the, the camera or whether it's the memory card. So I put my my SanDisk 128 gig memory card in, and I just had it sitting. I was when I was watching TV last night. I just had it sitting recording, and I noticed that it, it shut off. It shut off like three times. It stopped. So, um, but that memory card works fine in the old camera. My old um, X33 works fine. So I went out and got myself a new memory card. This is a, this is a different brand. I'm using a Lexar. It's actually a micro SD card this time, in a card adapter, and it's. Uh, it's a 128 gig, so we'll see whether it shuts down with this one. I was doing some test recordings on it earlier, and I was recording at 100 megabits in 4K mode, and it ran for a while. I didn't fill the whole card up. I recorded for, I don't know, like 15 minutes or so. Recorded like 4 gigs worth of stuff, and it didn't shut down. So, um, at 100 megabits, and on the the uh, SanDisk card, I could only go to 60. I couldn't record at 100. It actually would tell me, well, both my AX53 and the AX33, if I tried to go to 100 on it, it would say, this memory card does not support because it was only a UH1, right? And this is a this is an ultra high speed UHS3. The other one was a UHS1. So I've gone to a ultra high speed three card now. So we'll see whether that um, eliminates my my camera shutting down problem. I kind of think it will. I kind of think that's where, where the, the issue was with the uh, was that memory card because I, I've had more uh, issues with SanDisk cards than anybody else's. these cameras come apart fairly fairly easily now I've got the screws out here I can lift this door off now and should be able to slide the entire chassis out I can just smell the capacitors leaking on this thing. It stinks. So um, but definitely we have a, a capacitor issue on this one. Hmm. My power supply, external power supply. To, Power the camera up and just see what it does. Well, I guess I can't do anything on this without plugging in this connector on the bottom because all my controls are on the other side on this one. So that's the picture off the camera. Um, not really, not really much of a picture. What are we looking at there? Oh, we're looking at the TV. <laughs> okay, feedback. Well, it still doesn't look very good. How was feedback? Still doesn't look very good. Um, yeah, it's got a problem. Let's uh, see if it'll play back anything. And it also won't play back. So we definitely have a capacitor issue on this. Okay, let's remove power and disconnect the 
video outputs again. And I can start uh, looking at the video board and see if we can spot which uh, which of these uh, caps are faulty. So I got to get into the video board, which is this one below. So we'll remove the camera out of the way. And this one's held in place by, I got to take out this power supply, it looks like, first. Looks like somebody may have been into this too. Looks like this has been soldered on before. Um, I think I got to remove the power. Yeah, I got to remove the power supply, or at least remove the DC to DC converter because it has to swing out of the way. Yeah, it's been see, it's been someone's worked on this before. It probably was in a shop. Somebody unsoldered that in the past. Um, we we'll remove the screw. And, oh, somebody's changed the capacitor in this one. Somebody's changed a cap. So that one will be okay. So which other ones are bad? Get the ESR meter out. We'll look for uh, bad ESR. That one looks like it's open. I mean, there's not that many caps on this one to go bad. There's only a handful. But that one there looks like it's open. For sure, that one's open. And how about this one over here? Well, a couple of them for sure should get replaced. We'll do this one and that one. I'm not too concerned about the camcorder section if there's any bad caps on that because uh, people aren't using these to record. At least they, they shouldn't be. If they are, they shouldn't be. Nobody should be recording anything to tape. They should only be using these things to play back existing recordings to uh, try to uh, preserve their recordings. There's one cap over here also on this power supply. It may be okay. Let's uh, get these ones done. So we'll take all this 47 carefully, kind of give it a turn, and it should come off. You can see that this one's been leaking. One of the things I like about the, this camera, the AX53, is that I can get some incredibly good close-ups without having to bring the camera right in. The camera's like, you know, two feet up. And I can zoom right on in, all the way like that. Which is pretty incredible. And that is why I like this one in the shop, just because it's got that incredible 20 times zoom lens. It 
So we're going to mount this one on its side, kind of like this other one here was mounted. I'll just tin the board. I've already pre. Ugh, smells like uh, the back end of a tuner schooner. Fish oil caps. So we'll get the uh, the leads, the legs tinned. We can just bring this new cap in and just solder it down. You know, I may have fixed this camera before. That may have been my fancy work in the past. It could well have been a camera I fixed for somebody and then they turned around and sold it or gave it away and it's been given, it's been gifted back to me because it broke down again. But if it was me that did this, that would have been done several years ago. So that one's changed out. We'll do the same for this one. All I know for sure is that somebody's worked on it. But I used to do this. I used to fix these in the shop the same way. Although I do remember working on one of these a couple of years ago for a lady who wanted me to sell it for her and then pay her. And I said, no, I'll uh, fix it for you and you can sell it. So it looks like she did. And it came back and now... I get to sell it. Uh, 220 microfarad 10 volt, a little tiny one. So that'll fit in there quite nicely. Again, I'll I can probably put the stand this one up for that matter. I think I've got enough room on here. Uh, maybe not. I'll lay it flat. Just like the other ones. We'll mount this little 220 10 volt cap down. You can see that this one's been leaking. Okay, let's see whether I have made any improvement by changing those two capacitors. We'll see if the camera section works first of all. I fixed it! How about the tape? How's the tape sounding? And looking, let's plug the sound in here. I will put a tape in with a picture on it and we'll see how that one looks. I gotta fix the viewfinder on it too. Might as well go all the way, right? 
hey, look at that. It's playing. Looking great. Tracking up perfectly. That's one damn good looking video camera. Fantastic. I'll have no trouble selling this one. It's even got stereo sound. Okay, just reassembling the camera now. I'm not going to bother with the, the viewfinder. Um, it's got a few lines in the picture. It could very well be that the tube is shot on it too, but I think it's probably capacitors in the viewfinder. But again, um, I sell these units off like dirt cheap to people. And I'm not going to put a lot of effort into it. One, because I don't want them turning around and selling it for a huge profit on, on, uh, on eBay. That's one reason right there for me not to um, to change every single part in it. Because I'm not selling it for that much. I mean, I'm lucky if I get $100 for a camera. I know some people are you know selling them on eBay for for several hundred bucks, but I'm lucky if I get that. Most of them go for less than that, especially old ones like this. Just because, uh, you know, people know that they're old. They want them for one specific uh, reason, and that's to capture their old tapes. And as long as they play back, that's really all they care about. Is, uh, they can play the tapes back. And this one now will play tapes. We'll put this one through its paces again in a second once I get it all together to make sure it's still functional. Set housing back on. The last couple screws in here, and then we'll test it out. Make sure that it's still working once I've got it all back together. That's always a concern, right? You, you take one of these things apart and you put it back together, and it doesn't work. How many times has that happened? It certainly has happened to me before, that's for sure doesn't happen that often but it, it has happened I wonder whether I can turn that brightness down on here it looks like it's just cranked up all the way oh that's better much better yeah okay the brightness was cranked up all the way on this that's why there was that's why there was uh, retrace lines in the viewfinder Okay, let's hook it up. Okay, got it all hooked up. There it is. It's working. Excellent. Let's uh, just do a test recording on it now. Okay, you got to tape in the camera. Press record. Cool, huh? And we'll play this tape back here. Okay, there's our recording. Play this tape back here. It looks like it's working. Okay, that's what was on the tape prior to that. So I'm going to say this one's a success. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.